checking one, two, check, check. So I'm actually trying a different setup here with the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus and an H4n just to compare the audio between that camera and its sound codec and this audio recorder recording way higher bit to see if I can even tell slight of a difference. But anyways, guys, today we're going over a very controversial topic and that is Final Cut versus Premiere. Sure, there's a whole bunch of video editing programs out there, but I think the two most relevant, most relevant ones right now in 2020 is Final Cut versus Premiere Pro. Yes, there's other video editing programs out there like Blackmagic DaVinci Resolve or I don't know, Sony Vegas. Fun fact, I actually used Sony Vegas 8 when I first started out. I loved it to death. That was back when I was in middle school making fun YouTube videos. That's the program I used. But the whole backstory behind my video editing experience is I started out on Sony Vegas and then merged my way over to Premiere Pro back when it was CS5, I believe. And from there, I kind of been indwelled into the Adobe ecosystem, if you'd call it. That's very important to note, considering I may have a slight bias towards Premiere Pro, but you're about to find out my answer very quickly right now. The answer to the best video editing program, in my opinion, is both. Before you click away, considering that this YouTube video is absolutely worthless, let me explain. My reasoning behind this and the reason why every video editor chooses their specific platform is because of their workflow. And workflow is very essential when it comes to picking the right video editing program for you. So I have three different video project genres that I take on each week. That is commercial, business, real estate, corporate, whatever you want to call it. Those could be broken down into their separate category. Weddings and personal projects. Now these three different genres require their own different set of workflows. For example, commercial, business, corporate stuff, that's dealing with a lot of interviews, that's dealing with a lot of B-roll that needs to be colored and stabilized, that's, that, that's dealing with a lot of multicam editing sequences. So with that, Premiere would be my choice. But with weddings and other stuff, considering very fast workflows, I choose Final Cut because it's very well optimized, it's very fast rendering times, and ultimately gives me a very smooth experience. So I'm about to give you a whole list of pros for each different video editing software, but keep in mind that these pros are actually cons in the other platform. So here are the pros for Premiere Pro. Number one is no magnetic timeline, and this can be a great thing or a very bad thing. For Premiere, it's a great thing when there's very complex projects letting me put down each individual video file depending on where I want it and how I need it. Instead of all the clips merging together, I can simply lay out all of the video files and piece together exactly what I want. And this works very well in multicam edits. This works well in choosing B-roll. It's just a better experience when it comes to complex edits. And that leads me to the next thing, which is the complexity of edits. And to get complex with these edits, you have to go into Adobe Creative Cloud. And that's my third pro for Premiere Pro. The Adobe Cloud is amazing. From Photoshop to Lightroom to Audition to After Effects, the way it natively integrates makes things so easy to do when you're trying to do complex things. Whether that's throwing a file into After Effects and doing tracking, or throwing it into Audition to make the levels right or master the entire piece, or creating a graphic in Photoshop. The workflow is absolutely smooth and lets you dial in the exact specifications you want within your video. Final Cut for me is a totally different workflow. It's very simple and fast paced. So for the first pro in Final Cut Pro, that would be the simple fast paced magnetic timeline. I love the magnetic timeline due to the fact that you can throw all of the clips down on the timeline and just start cutting. For simple edits like that, it is absolutely game changing. Projects would normally take in Premiere Pro, you know, two hours, three hours. I can nail it down in Final Cut within 15 minutes. So the magnetic timeline is absolutely crucial to that style of workflow. Speaking of simplicity, that leads me to my second pro of Final Cut Pro, which is the simplicity of the user interface. If you don't know anything in Final Cut Pro, all you have to do is look in the menu. It will show exactly what you're trying to do. For example, if you're trying to enhance somebody's voice in Final Cut, you go down to the effect voice enhance. It's labeled so simply that anybody who's starting out video editing, they can easily find what they're trying to do. The third pro, which I find to be the most essential attribute when you're trying to push out video projects very quickly, is fast loading times and Mac optimization. Because Final Cut Pro is exclusive to the Mac, it's very well optimized within the operating system. So your video previews, your render times, your effect render times, all of these different things that require a bunch of processing power, 
it does well and fast because it's optimized for the Mac. So with all of that said, that's why I said your workflow is really vital to picking out the proper video editing program for you to use. If you do very complex edits like documentary films or commercials or something that really takes time and a very deep dive into every little detail, then I would choose Premiere Pro. Or if you're looking to push videos out very fast, very quickly, and not really caring about every little detail that goes into the video, I would choose Final Cut Pro. Final Cut Pro is an amazing piece of software that allows beginners to become professionals. That's the best way I look at it because it has pretty much not every feature of Premiere Pro, but, but most of them. This allows you to start learning each individual aspect when it comes to video editing. So when you're ready to move up to a very industry standard platform, you're ready for Premiere Pro. So that's also why I use Premiere Pro when it comes to business corporate projects is because I can send it to an editor and they already know how to use the software. The last determining factor, which is a big one, what are you willing to spend on a piece of video editing software? Final Cut, which is $300 for a lifetime access is a fantastic deal. I would recommend that to anybody just starting out. First of all, if you're just starting out, I would totally get Final Cut Pro. Versus $20.99 every month for every month, there is no stop on this one. If you just wanna make a one-time payment for $300, get Final Cut Pro. It's a great piece of software, especially for beginners wanting to get better at video editing. But if you don't mind paying the $20.99 a month, get Premiere Pro, or what I pay $52.29 every month for the entire Adobe Creative Cloud. So which one is right for you? Well, that's a question that you have to answer. And I would love to know exactly what video editing program that you use in the comments down below. Let me know. But for now, thank you for watching. See you in the next one.